Here are 10 things I bet you didn't know about Bannerlord. Let's play a game. If you knew all 10 already, you win. If you didn't, I win. Let me know in the comments either way, and if you love your mum, hit subscribe. In tournaments, you can view the reward on offer by clicking watch match, and you're still able to go back to the main screen and hit join match if you want to fight. If you are solely using tournaments to help fund your game and want to save time, instead of fighting it yourself, you can still win the prize if a companion or family member in your party wins. If you are struggling aiming siege equipment, line up the left side of the wooden beam so it just covers the beam behind it. The shot will land between that and your head. Make micro adjustments and your next shot should be on target. Every party uses their own individual medicine skill. If you are worried about a large fight, a good idea would be to take all your party's troops from them and have them in your own, where your higher medicine skill from you or your surgeon will mean less deaths. Don't forget to give them back afterwards or you'll quickly have deserters. If you want to quickly check if you or a companion has leveled up, all you have to do is look here and scroll through the list. You and your companions get one focus point every level up and every four levels you get one attribute point, so you don't need to look anywhere else. When saving a castle or town from besiegers, double check that the garrison is helping. If it's not, just click out and back in again until it does. You can click on the town or the enemy camp, it's the same thing. The courier offers better peace deals than going through the kingdom panel. Here I am offered 1,300 more per day via the courier compared to the kingdom panel. To level up a companion's engineering skill fast, create a new formation and put only the companion you want to level in it. Put them near the mangonel, put them in line formation as the default scatter means they won't listen to your commands, put fire at will off as they still might not listen to you and ask them to use the siege engine. Get them to shuffle along by replacing the next troop yourself. If they're in position 4, then they'll move to position 3 if it's free. The person in position 3 will move to position 2 if it's free. It's a bit fiddly as the soldier you replace will return to its formation, but will try to come back if the position is free. If you spot in the battle report that one of your companions in your party has died, you can retrieve their equipment at the loot screen stage. After this page, they will be removed from the game. They will be naked in the encyclopedia though. If you're trying to change the placement of your siege engines or remove them but can't, it's probably because you have things selected already. Hit escape a few times and that will free the cursor to make more decisions. If you are looking specifically for noble troops, they only spawn in castle villages. Two of the three notables will have them. I learnt this tip this week. I knew they didn't spawn in towns, but I spent a lot of time going through every village convinced that it was random. To level up a companion's engineering skill fast, create a new formation and put only the companion you want to level it in. No. Create a new formation and put only the companion you want to level it in. Oh my goodness. Uh, create a new formation and put only the companion you want to level in it. Why can't I do this? <clears throat> Kills with siege equipment give the best XP. To get a companion to the man... If you spot in back can retrieve their equipment at the loot screen stage. After this page, might have clicked my knuckles on audio.